Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Peachy and this is Plant and Style. Today's video is going to be a plant styling vlog and I'm so excited to be collaborating with Lou Bona. They were kind enough to send me a planter box that I am going to be upscaling into a cacti shelf. So without further ado, let's get on with this project. Hi guys, so just to give you an idea, this is the little corner on our front porch that needs help, obviously. <laughs> As you can see, like my cacti are just down on the floor, on the ground. I used to have a uh, bamboo wooden plant stand, but it finally has rotted away. <laughs> so now, um, luckily, uh, Lubona has sent me this uh, raised garden bed. It's right here that I it's still in the box and I wanted to unbox and build it with you guys so you can kind of see how easy it is to assemble. So yeah, don't mind this mess. <laughs> this is where I do my plant chores um, currently. And so yeah, this is like my private, private, <laughs> my private space that is yet organized. <laughs> it's just been, it's constantly in use. So I always have something like pots in and out, dirty and clean. So yeah, and hopefully by the end of this video, I'm able to organize this spot as well so yeah this is the this is the front yard porch kind of situation but yeah so this is the little spot and it's it's a little more private um than it looks hopefully we can make it look better so wish me luck guys and i'm sorry about the noise i'm probably gonna speed up um a lot of the outdoor work just because it's it's too loud as you can see we're near a main road kind of and it's it's a very busy street so yeah let's get to work i'm planning on putting the planter box this way across and hopefully elevate my cacti so it's not too dangerous for my kids so yeah that's the plan and tidy up a little bit and i'll give you a plant tour okay so we'll see you in a bit Today's video is brought to you by Lou Bona. Lou Bona focuses on the design and quality of comfortable home furniture boutique. Not only they offer unique and high quality design, their prices are also highly competitive compared to popular leading brands. They offer beautiful indoor and outdoor furniture. So you can choose from bar stool to dining chair vanity stools or even accent chair their collection of designs include woven products as well which is currently what is featured on their website is my favorite this is totally my aesthetic these chairs are so elegant and chic Another reason to give them a try if you live in the U.S. is that it ships free. Yes, I love that. Getting large pieces of furniture usually costs a fortune. So that that is a plus, definitely. And you can expect delivery within 3 to 7 days. 
And if you change your mind, you have 30 days of free return service, no strings attached. When you're ready to place your order, you can use my coupon code PEACHY to receive 15% off of your total purchase from their website. I will have all of this information and links in the description box for you as usual and back to the video. Okay, so I finished it and it came with a liner, but since I'm not going to plant to it directly, I'm going to be using it as a shelf, like as a cover pot, basically, but so I don't think I need to, um, to use the liner. And so yeah, so now I'm going to need to clear up some space for it and we'll see how I'm going to um, to place it. Okay, you guys, as promised, I'll give you a quick tour of, of our front yard. And it's not in its best condition at the moment because I'm very busy um, with my indoor plants. And so this is what, this is how it currently looks, I guess. And um, it's getting bushy everywhere. And I did trim a few a while back, but as you can see the siding has a lot of grass that i need um, to pull out once again they get a lot of afternoon sun i guess that's why it's it's currently very happy so i have just been propagating them and filling up the rest so um, this succulent bed kind of right here used to be a lizard in lizard shape but as you can see it's all grown out i need to reshape it again and give it a new head because the back has gotten bigger right here and the the arms and legs are gone completely <laughs> so yeah this is my beautiful agave that i grew from a cutting and then this is my DIY succulent tower right here. Shout out to Cyril. Thank you for the brilliant idea. And I love it. And so is our neighbors. <laughs> I have a lot of succulents here that a lot of them are rehab that I got for free. And from friends and family. And it, it just kind of... Um, accumulated over the past years I guess so yeah this is the right side and then on this side right here on the side of our house I have more succulents here we it's surrounding this holly tree right here and this side of the garden needs some refill of plants i'm i'm planning on filling it up with cuttings of succulents i have just gotten around it yet and as you can see the weed um, liner is already popping up because i, I just use my blower to kind of tidy up things 
and I can't help but blow the lava rocks also so yeah it used to be more it used to be like this <laughs> but so yeah a lot of these um, plants that I have in here were rescued plants from the neighborhood and family and friends as well so just like here a lot of like a lot of my plants that were not um, thriving indoors just like this one this is a tomato phylum and I think it's called hope saloon actually yeah so I do have a rubber plant over here as well <laughs> I have a rubber plant here that I couldn't grow indoors for yeah to to like save it so I just threw it out here for last measure <laughs> and so far a survived the winter not the begonia though the begonia lost all the leaves but i can see some new growths here and then just this this is cordyline this bright out oh, bright red cordyline i just i just broke my my flip-flop my eight dollar <laughs> flip-flop <laughs> so yeah so not much not much out here really just I do have a monstera at the back right there and a few propagations that I just threw in in there because I know that they do survive in this neighborhood. I've seen it around the neighborhood. So a few succulents here, some fern, asparagus, I think it's a foxtail fern or I think it's called foxtail fern or yeah. And then I have a planter here that needs help as well so it's another project future project so I need to change up the plants that are in here and then I have this beautiful maiden hair fern who lives outdoors all year long and um, it lost a lot of its fronds over the winter but as you can see it's back and yeah it, it never lost all of its leaves though so that's that's great and then this is just some random olive olive tree that i recently chopped because it's got some scales and then here is a giant craig all of these plants are already acclimated. Actually, I just left it out here for the whole year. <laughs> and so far, they're, they're alive, I guess. So I have Pylea. Pylea is loving its life out here. And it's in the head planter. So I actually named, named this, um, this plant. Um, oh my god, I forgot what's the simpson marge marge simpson so the, the plan hopefully is to um for it to grow its hair like marge simpson and that's kind of the the growth pattern with the pilea and so hopefully we'll get there so yeah this is the sansevieria mikado we have the ficus pomilla variegated ficus pomilla and then we have this um i forgot what this is called but this it's some kind of selaginella fern and um down here i have um this was a tineki but now it's turning into a ruby so yeah so another one that i was trying to grow indoor but it wasn't moving at all so this is a um, silver squill it's all dusty because i just did use the leaf, leaf blower <laughs> and then this is a an angel wing begonia i don't know exactly what it's called but i got that that one as a free cutting as well this is a variegated um boston fern that i am trying to acclimate out here and it's not looking very happy right now but that's okay i'll figure it out 
So if you turn the other side of the porch, this is what has become of this porch, I guess. It, it's neater than how it was. I'll show you a photo of or the video of the before um, photo. So I tidied up a little bit. I took out my um, potting bench that was here and I've decided to put it back here actually I have another plan back there so just so it's not too cluttered and so yeah I have this is actually a Hopertia numularifolia and I think it's the mutant mutant variety and I did get this from Orchid Expo in San Francisco so far it's still alive so i'm quite happy about that it's living in moss and but i do have a self-watering pot right there so it's easy for me to keep track of because um, you cannot let it dry it loves a lot of water it loves to be constantly moist so i put her in that pot and then i have this monkey tail monkey tail cactus right here that is growing quite massively and yeah i would enjoy it a little more if it was trailing and flowering also but we'll get there that's a goal for that boy and then i just have some random string of pearls string of things this is string of tears right here a very sad um, string of banana yeah I might have to figure out what's going on there and then down here I have a this is a ficus benjamina um, weeping fig weeping fig that I rescued as well and then there's another there's got a sister right here this is the variegated version and I rescued this one also but it's still not in its best condition it's still not looking I don't know I probably need to fertilize per fertilize her and then this is my Norfolk Island pine that I that's growing big uh, we use this as our Christmas tree and I cannot wait to to have it even taller so I grew this whole top this whole thing right here under my care and yeah I'm so proud of this guy and I'm so glad that it's doing fine out here so it's still too short to like um, be on the floor but I have this handy dandy um, plant stand for it for now and then here is my um, bird of paradise this is the the large the the one that gets bigger and um, yeah it's got a new leaf finally so it, it was um, I think it went dormant for the winter but it survived it and so yeah this is actually slightly it's got a sport variegation right there and it continued on to two leaves so maybe we'll get something 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 from this guy so yeah and yeah for the lubona um, raised bed planter that i have turned into plant shelf now <laughs> I was planning on just putting cacti and succulents here but apparently I don't have enough cacti so I I added a few plants that I have growing out here and this is just for now obviously it's going to change um, over and over <laughs> it's constantly changing as they grow but so yeah I do have this this is my Rick Rack cactus that I got from um, San Diego actually yeah and it's got some new growth so I've had this for 
two years now and yeah I grew all this stuff that are standing up those are from my care and down here were just the the older growth yeah and then behind there I do have this it's like a some type of a San Pedro cactus but I don't know exactly what it is yeah so I I got this as a cutting from Etsy and yeah so far it, it seems like it's stuck from the um, pot now so that's a good sign that it's already rooted I also have this is the amac is it euphorbia amac variegated euphorbia amac oh my god I cannot remember and I think this is another the same one that is variegated but I'm not sure but got this um, from Facebook marketplace for like 20 bucks with the pot I do need to repot it as you can see it's still in its old crusty soil so I'm still waiting I'm still waiting to get it on a bigger pot as soon as I get done right I have here a euphorbia white ghost that I don't know it hasn't really done much <laughs> for me so so yeah I have this variegated bear paw and then this is an old man cactus I think and then I have this random two avocado pots here um, one is still in pond one is living in pond actually and then there's two plants in here that I probably need to separate as well. And I grew this from, from the seed that came from a grocery store avocado. So, yeah. So I have three avocados here, and I don't know if it's if it's gonna mature or what. But it's it's the first time that I try it tried it. So we'll see. I have some uh, Dracaena marginata in the back there. That's not looking very good either and then I have this um, ponytail palm out here just chilling and yeah they're not dying so I'm <laughs> kind of happy about that I also have this um, variegated um, string of hearts here that I got for free as a small cutting and I'm tr still trying to fill up the pot and oh it's very dry right now but yeah um, it probably needs some water then I have this other Hawartia, Hawartia right here um, yeah and it's flowering and then oh yeah I have this succulent here it's very cool looking succulent I don't really know what they're called but yeah I have her I got this from Facebook marketplace and so yeah from from the neighborhood so and then down here bottom shelf I have a random Hoya that actually lives out here so it's in pond though so it, it was hanging on on the uh, porch but I just put this here for now because I don't know where to put it yet and then at the back I still have a bunch of different cacti that I got from big box store I don't really know what they are but I I love succulents and that's how I got into plants basically i've yeah from a succulent that my friend has gifted me although i did kill it 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 made me addicted to plants basically <laughs> this is the what do you call this is the lifesaver cactus and then what is that i think it's called bunny ears cactus i have a random propagation of this kitty variegated oyanta oyanta i think oyanta and more cactus in a um, giraffe planter another bear paw that is just a regular one that's not variegated 
and then we have some variegated string of pearls here that I've been trying to grow forever and it's it's never like fully happy <laughs> this is rat tail cactus I have a random mandula pothos back there I did get some cuttings from it this is my mother plant I got some cuttings that I am growing in pond currently but this guy is happy out here it did have some I think thrips problems that's why I put it out here but so far it's 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 still okay it's alive so I've treated it but and then this is a goldfish that I got from San Diego also from a family and then this is a reverted Australis Lisa as you can see you can see the variegation there still I got this for free and and it's been living out here it was just a, a small cutting but it's it's happy out here and then just a regular string of hearts and then this is what are you crinkle eight this is the hoya crinkle eight and yeah it lives out here too then there's another hoya in the back here this is hoya ah027 and i don't know what to do with it that's why it's out here so and yeah so so far i am loving this lubona planter what do you guys think please let me know in the comments if you do the same thing for something like this raised bed planter it's great for me it elevates it off the ground and so it makes it look more tidy and cohesive with um, what I have going on right now so yeah again this is my simple porch that could be better <laughs> but this is the end product at the moment but it's going to change um again so and i love my planter so much and i think it works perfectly for what i need it for yeah maybe eventually when all these plants are have grown out of it i can still use this as a, a planter bed for probably vegetables when i get there yeah, if you want more updates about this planter bed, um, please follow along and yeah, and back to the outro. And that's it for today's video. Don't forget to check out Lou Bona at loubona.com and um, enjoy 15% coupon. Just use peachy or i'll put everything in the description box down below and if you do like this kind of video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell down below so you'll be notified when my future video drops thank you so much for doing this project with me and i hope to see you on the next video bye